Welcome back to KTN News Desk. I'm Michael Karanj. Now, the sale of counterfeit, uh, especially alcoholic beverages in the market, has been on the rise, especially with the increased uptake of uh, spirits in this country. But what does that mean for players who actually out, go out there to gen produce uh, legitimate products but end up having them counterfeit? I'm now joined by Amit Gupta, who's the pr factory manager at Africa Spirits, who I understand, Amit, you've invested actually 300 million shillings just to try and curb the sale of uh, counterfeit products in the market. Yes, actually it's true. Yep. We're buying a state-of-art uh, bottling machines uh, yep. uh, for a special type of caps. It's called NRF, non-refillable caps. Yep. Where uh, by launching this cap, we will provide confidence in customer. So uh, the customer will have a confidence. There should be no adulteration in the liquid. If if customer is buying a bottle of uh, liquor, he yep. knows that this cap is specifically from Africa Spirit. Nobody else is making that one. Yeah. Yeah. And perhaps just looking at it from a ch from a challenge point of view, how yeah. challenging was it for you? Did you have cases of your products being counterfeited in the market? Okay, we were not suffered severely because uh, of counterfeits. Uh, we have a policy since we started, since our inception. Yeah. We have a quality pol policy. We always keep on innovative things. Uh, 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 if you look after our history, Blue Moon is our main flagship brand. So we launched a transparent label first time in Kenya. Uh, uh, we are the pioneer in this field to launch that transparent, clear label, PP clear on clear. It was actually on the schedule, but last year these counterfeit issues, they were on the higher side. We, uh, uh, you can hear uh, from every corner of the society, there's yeah. uh, b goods are being counterfeited with so many reasons, and etc. So we thought it's the, uh, to launch that cap, which can prevent, actually, which can g give customer a confidence. Do you think it's a po point in time where perhaps everyone who's in this business, especially mm. of, of producing uh, spirits, actually thought along those lines of actually introducing more innovative ways just to ensure that what they're selling is genuine and doesn't get uh, counterfeited by those people who are out to cash in on a, on, a, on a popular brand in the market? Yeah, yeah, it's necessary. It's now mandatory for them. For yeah. all the players in the market, actually, it's it's a continuous process of innovations. Uh, yeah. uh, you can't wait for somebody to counterfeit. You have to keep innovations. You can make your product more visible. You need to create ca customer awareness. You know, uh, regarding the international standards and uh, the uh, the innovative packaging. Yeah. And talking on that, there's been uh, perhaps a suggestion. We move from uh, plastic uh, packaging to bottles, mm. but there's been some suggestions as to, uh, in a way, to kind of ensure that this doesn't happen, mm. where you have deposits mm. for bottles, like what would happen perhaps for soda or mm. beer bottles. Uh, is it something that perhaps can work in the spirits market, or is it something that can't be applied in spirits, just to ensure that people don't get access to your bottles to counterfeit? It can be applied, it can be applied, but we need to come up with the proper strategy and system how yeah. to collect the bottle. The biggest challenge is how to collect the bottles. You now, most of the, because from the uh, outlets like supermarkets, hypermarkets, uh, and the retail outlets, liquor intake is, uh, uh, output is less. If you go from bar to bar, from there, liquor output is very high. So in that area, if you're talking about the slum where people are buying 100 shilling or 150 shilling of exactly. drink, they don't care. You know, after drink, they don't care to return the bottle back. Yeah. So that is the main problem, how to get the bottles back. But is it something that perhaps, is, is it ap applicable? Or is it, uh, does it add other uh, challenges in terms of cost, operational costs for you? Yeah, obviously it will involve uh, another challenges like uh, operational cost. It will go higher because once, you know, you'll have to hire a transport, to, you'll have to deploy some people on the ground to collect the bag for washing and all these things. We are also thinking in that area, yeah. but uh, the uh, strategy is not yet formed. Yeah. Just looking at non-refillable caps, obviously you've, you've alluded to the fact that innovation is key to this market. Mm. How else do you, I know you have non-see-through bottles mm. and, uh, and, uh, and labeling mm. the non-refillable caps. Mm. What else can be done? Is uh, engraving of bottles also something that should be done by people who are in this business? Yeah, engraving of bottle. Actually, we are the first one who introduced engraving in this market. Our, if you see our bottle, there is a type of engrave like Africa Spirit Property. Down there, if you see the bottom, there is written Africa Spirit Property. So nobody else can use. We know this is specifically uh, related to our company. Yep. Yeah, engraving. There are so many other ways. There are so many other ways which uh, a manufacturer can launch to prevent the counterfeits. Uh, the, uh, not, especially not counterfeits to more innovate their packaging. There are so many other ways. There is a lot of uh, ways in international, we can see like uh, 
there is a for example there is a frosting way if you see there are some vodkas in the market which comes with a frosted effect cloudy yeah. effects so that is another way of uh, uh, keeping uh, your property safe so there are a lot of ways and uh, you seeing like uh, if, if just not only for africa space but you think the market uh, players are going in the right direction just to ensure that this we don't keep falling into the same trap of counterfeit Okay, most of the players they are very innovative, but uh, actually there is a uh, they need to also create the awareness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there are a lot of expos which are coming in Kenya these days for packaging. They need to attend those packaging and expos, so they will get more better ideas because the market uh, is not uh, right now. The Kenyan market is now booming. Yeah. So everybody needs to think, starting start thinking in that direction. So, and um, uh, what can I say? So just packaging and just no. There are so many ways. There's a lot of continued investment. I guess. Yeah, continuous investment. There's also been a, I've seen a tender practice. I don't know. Does Africa Spirits go out into the market and just ensure that products being sold have not been have not fallen through the cracks and actually people are dif uh, bottling products in your in in your bottles that are not genuine. No, we have, we have, we have proper system. Ma market due diligence. Yeah, okay. market due uh, diligence. We have, we have proper market surveillance. We do, we do, uh, we always keep uh, tracking our products, where the products are going, where the uh, end user, uh, retailers are selling the products. We have all this information on that. We have a very big team of uh, sales and marketing guys. And we have also other people who are deployed on the ground to give us the informations. We have proper uh, uh, systems. And perhaps from the system, have you been able to see whether the proliferation has been that much or as is it at a, at a level where perhaps for African spirits you're comfortable with uh, the safety standards that you've introduced so, so far? You know, actually the uh, actually the information from where the information comes first we need to find out the information also the end users end users means the end customers all and the retailers and the distributors are the one who can give you the information yeah, yeah. so we make sure that we are keep uh, our sales guys they visit every day they visit we have a uh, we held up a meeting with them in our twice in a month or thrice in a month to check what is the pro process progress of the market there was a time we got our counterfeit complaint even from the retailer he is the one who complained to us that somebody else is selling. So we also give the complaints to the relevant authorities, and they took the actions. Okay. Let's yeah. look. Let's just focus on the, uh, on the spirits market for a while now. Mm. Uh, liquor consumption is on the rise in Kenya. Mm. Uh, currently, Africa Spirits does about it does uh, vodka, brandy, and uh, and the whiskey. Mm. Are you thinking of introducing more products uh, along those lines just to keep up with the with the with the demand for for spirits in, in, in the market? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have a five-year plan to. Uh, launch another new products in the markets yeah. so we uh, we have all uh, we have formed already a formed innovation department which uh, which is actually working on that one it's a product innovation and develop de and development department we have also had uh, uh, international uh, uh, expertise in that one so in near future you'll see more of uh, uh, products from our side all right uh, yeah Thank you very much. Yeah. That has been, been Amit Gupta, the factory manager at Africa Spirits, just talking about how important it is to innovate in terms of introducing new products in the market just to ensure that products, liquor especially, don't get counterfeited and actually pose health risks to consumers. Najma Ismail, it's time for ICC, but at least this time it's not about Kenya, is it? No, it's not. No, 